The ASUS ROG Phone 3 pretty much dominated in every single speed test on my channel in 2020, but does it have what it takes to go up against Samsung's latest flagship, the S21 Ultra, in a speed test? The S21 Ultra houses Qualcomm's latest and greatest Snapdragon 888 chipset run on 5 nanometer process node technology, while the ROG Phone 3 is running Qualcomm's previous number crunching chip, the Snapdragon 865 Plus, run on 7 nanometer plus process node tech. Other than that, their specifications are identical on paper. They both have 12 gigs of LPDDR5 RAM and they are both kitted with UFS 3.1 storage. They have both been updated to their latest available software update. We are rocking Android 11 on the Samsung and Android 10 on the ROG Phone 3. We're going to be enabling their max refresh rate options here. That is 120 hertz on the Samsung and 160 hertz on the Asus. We're going to drop the Samsung's WQHD plus panel down to full HD plus since the ROG Phone 3 is capped at full HD. Once again, we're going to be disabling enhanced processing on the S21 R Ultra due to its issues over its performance from enabling that option, but we will be enabling OptiFlex on the ROG Phone 3 since it does such a darn great job. The ROG Phone 3 also has X mode which we're going to enable over here, and I've made sure to disable any form of battery optimization within the 20 apps that we'll be running through today, as well as leave the animation scale set to 1x on both devices within developer options. Round 1 will be all about boot fingerprint and face unlock, round 2 about initial opening app speed, and round 3 all about RAM management. Using my fingers over here so to keep things accurate we're popping gopro footage at the bottom left hand corner this is technique and without further ado let's go we're gonna kickstart things off in round one with a simple boot to see which one can power up quickest. It is the ROG Phone 3 picking up its first points after just 14 seconds as opposed to 25 seconds on the S21 Ultra. And this is a phone from 2021. The ROG Phone 3 picks up its second point after going into the home screen, showing the app icons quicker. We have an optical under display fingerprint sensor on the ROG Phone as opposed to the ultrasonic generation two on the S21 Ultra. And the S21 Ultra is quicker every single time here, picking up its first points in round one. Now testing out the the 2D face unlock on both devices over here. It was too close to call the first time. The ROG Phone 3 was quicker the second time and it was quicker the third time, picking up its third point in round one as opposed to just one single point for the S21 Ultra in round one. Making sure we hooked up to the same Wi-Fi network, X mode is on on the ROG Phone 3. Max brightness on both devices and all apps are closed in the background. The ROG Phone 3 opens up the first system app setting slightly quicker than that of the S21 Ultra. Was too close to call when going into the calculator app over here. And what is going to happen when we go into the camera app after we're done doing our little calculation over here? Going into our third system app here, which is camera. The Samsung opened it up quicker, but the ROG loaded the page quicker, so no point was allocated over there. But flipping to the selfie cam, the ROG Phone 3 was quicker in doing that, but the S21 Ultra was faster at taking the snap and semi into gallery. Talking about gallery going into that one it was too close to call Unfortunately, I forgot to go into the photo. You'll have to forgive me for that one. But going into Photoshop Express over here, which one can do it quicker? It is the S21 Ultra picking up its second point. Now matching the ROG phone, now overtaking it, getting its third point after going into that photo that we just took in Photoshop Express. Saving it to gallery, though the ROG phone three said save to gallery at the bottom of the screen quicker than it did at the bottom of the S21 Ultra screen. Now three for three in round two. Going into Adobe Premiere Russia, a video editing app. The ROG phone three opened it up quicker, went into the project quicker, now with four points and then five points. Now we're gonna go ahead and render this 4K 25 frames per second clip. We're going to drop the resolution down to 1080p but match the frame rates of 25 frames per second. So we're compressing the video over here. We're going to hit export. I'm leaving it at 100%. Bottom right hand corner. Which one is going to do it quicker? It looks so neck and neck right now. And for the first time in the channel's history, it is a tie. Rendering a video, 8.5 seconds on both of them using UFS 3.1 storage. Great job, ROG Phone 3 taking blows against the S21 Ultra's flagship of 2021. I can't wait to see the ROG Phone 5 come out or 4, whatever it's going to be called. The S21 Ultra opened up Spotify slightly quicker, but the ROG Phone 3 opened up Astral VPN slightly quicker, but it was too close to call when enabling the VPN. We need a VPN here in China to go into the next run of apps, which the ROG Phone 3 snags at 7th points after opening up Google Chrome quicker. Now I three point lead toward the ROG Phone 3. The ROG picked up its eighth point now going into Facebook and what's going to happen going into Instagram. It is the S21 Ultra snagging a point over here now with five points as opposed to eight on the ROG Phone 3. Going into Twitter once again the S21 Ultra closing the gap now with six points as opposed to eight on the Asus and going into YouTube which one can open up the app quicker. Remember we are set to the same Wi-Fi same VPN all that jazz so it's coming down to speed. The Samsung was quicker in opening up the app and going to 
my profile quicker and now which one can play the video quicker it is indeed the s21 ultra and it loaded the page quicker as well picking up it's a ninth point now overtaking the rg phone 3 with nine points as opposed to eight going into our next video app here our next streaming app which is netflix the s21 ultra opened it up quicker but the rg phone 3 went into my profile quicker so 10 points for the samsung as opposed to nine on the rog going to our first benchmark of two here i was too close to call when opening up geekbench version 5.3.2 but running through it i sped it up bottom right hand corner the samsung takes the lead over here picking up its 11 point with two minutes and 43 seconds as opposed to two minutes and 46 seconds on the rog bear in mind that the samsung had a higher single core speed but the rog had a higher multi-core speed very interesting too close to call when opening up 3d mark wildlife we're going to be jumping through the wildlife portion just the mini version which is a minute or so to see which one can do it faster this time it is the rog phone 3 it didn't have the score quite like the s21 ultra but you've got to remember this is about speed so whichever one can get through it power through it quicker gets the point that's why the rog phone 3 snagged that point now with 10 points as opposed to the 11 on the s21 ultra just one point difference between them it's going to come down to games and is the gaming centric rog phone 3 going to take this for the win in subway surfers yes it does 11 points now matching the s21 ultra 11 points a piece here this is extremely interesting so intense just three apps left three games left of the 20 temple run two years sped it up slowed it back down s21 ultra takes the cake here taking the lead over the rog phone 3 by one point with 12 points as opposed to the 11 on the asus rog phone 3 going into among us an epic game going into it the s21 ultra snags the point now with 13 points there is no way for the rog phone 3 to come back what a comeback from samsung here two points ahead of the rog phone 3 no matter what happens in pubg the s21 ultra has won this round since there's a two point difference between them the rog phone 3 does open up pubg quicker with 13 seconds as opposed to 15 seconds on the s21 ultra so the score for round two was 12 points on the rog as opposed to 13 on the samsung now enhanced processing is off on the samsung surprisingly it's keeping all apps opened in the background must be test that i did against the Huawei Mate 40 Pro. I also had enhanced processing off, but it did kill about five or so apps on the Samsung. This time around, it's not killing either of them. They both kitted here with 12 gigs of LPDDR5 RAM. No sweat on both devices, keeping all 20 apps open in the background. Great job on Samsung and Asus here for doing so great in RAM management. Zero points apiece there for round three. Total score here, 14 points for the Samsung as opposed to 15 on the ROG Phone 3. If we focus just on round two, raw performance, raw speed, 13 points for the Samsung as opposed to 12 on the ROG Phone 3. Just one point difference. I'm very impressed with the Asus ROG Phone 3. Not only is it cheaper, but it is a previous generation older. I cannot wait to see its success coming out in the next couple of months. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I did making it. A sub to the channel would be epic. This is Technic and I'll see you in the next one.